We're just gonna talk about this. Let me see. Alright, we're here to review the quad kit, which we recently purchased on Amazon because as the ad says, we have a SUV and we might need this sometime. Uh, so first impressions, it's black. It uh, has two handles, perfect for carrying. Um, it feels good, it's thick, it doesn't feel cheap. This is nice because you have the, it's modular so you can add to it if you needed to. I like that. Yeah. It works with my backpack and whatnot. Yeah. All right, let's see what's inside, Jill. Unzip it. Oh, right. yeah. This We've is... got a few things in here. I think that was supposed to go this way, so let's see what this says. It comes with a instruction booklet. Four-in-one emergency kit. Specialized for, uh, oh, excuse me. Specialized kits, auto kit, first aid kit, survival kit, fastener kit. This is designed for, in our case, SUVs. And then there's a list of everything that's inside of the kit, which isn't super important that you see it right now. There's also a caution here. What does the caution say, Jill? Items in this emergency kit can be dangerous if used inappropriately. Please be careful and get training if needed. For more information, for more information about product cautions, please visit. Then Training. We... All right. Pros. So we'll each go through one of these. Julie, you start. Which, which kit do you want to look at first? All right. Show, show the camera what you got. Uh, first, aid first aid and shelter. It's first red, which is nice because most first aid kits are red. I like that. You know that this is, this is the first aid kit. Okay. talk loud oh all right so everything's in the compartment which is nice so even if you opened it and flipped it upside down it's not like stuff falls everywhere that's pretty cool okay. all right what do you got there's disposable gloves hold them up gloves. we got gloves a couple of pairs of those uh these are large size yeah. okay so while jilly looks at that i'm going to try to put these on won't see these fingers uh, okay. a, a, what is that this is gauze. Uh, oh, actually, it's compressed gauze. Uh, These are nice gloves. Oh, they fit. Yeah, that's nice work. <laughs> nice work. Uh, I don't know what you do. What do you do with compressed gauze? Oh, so you can take that out of there, and it will expand oh. and get bigger. But it's easier to store if it's small like that. Easy storing. Does it say how many ply it is? Uh, six ply. Six ply. That's nice. good. That's good. I'm good with that. How many pieces are in there? There's a... Uh... How many pieces of gauze in there? Just one? Let me see. There's a... Yeah. Oh. 4.5 by 4.1. It's four yards of... Yeah. No, so that's nice. So you can cut it to what you yeah. need. Yeah. I like cool. that. That's cool. Then there's... If this comes with scissors. If there's no scissors, then I don't know how I'm supposed We're gonna to We're going to be leaving that. a one star. Okay, keep going. What do you got? Then there's tissues. Tissues? Tissues are good. Whatever gets cold and you need to blow okay. your nose. Put those back over here. Oh, compress guys, where did this go? Remember where it went? Yeah. It went right there. It's right there. All right, well, what do we got in there? Oh, there's some wrap. It's elastic bandage. Okay. An elastic bandage, four and a half meters. That seems like a lot. What is that, 12 feet? No, more than that, it's like 14 feet. 14 feet. Oh, it's pretty good size. This could be used for like wrists and stuff, but you really couldn't use this on like a knee. Um, it'd be hard to use it on an ankle. It's pretty thin width wise. Usually you're looking at like six inch ones if you want to do like bigger bones, but you could do a wrist real easily with this. Maybe an or elbow, like an maybe if it's if a kid. Like camping or whatever. Yeah. Any or hiking. I generally carry a four inch and a six inch. They're more common, but this looks pretty good. Yeah. Oh, and so here's the other thing. It has clips on it. Clips are super old school. I don't know if you can see this. <laughs> when I was a kid, it used to have these clips on everything. And they quit using them because the clips would cut into the person and they also cut the actual bandage itself. Mm -hmm. So now, what do most of them come like? 
What do they have yeah, instead of clips? Velcro. 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 Yeah. So I would suggest the Velcro suggestion. one. a little suggestion. If you had a chance to switch something, that's what I would switch on this side. The rest of that actually was pretty nice. Okay, wait, what is... Okay. All right. Then... Is it a wipe? Oh, a warmer pad. Oh, it's a hand oh, it's warmer. a warmer pad. Nice. That's helpful. Even in Arizona, it gets cold. This is nice. Then there's a poncho. Poncho. Oh, poncho for when it rains. 50 inch by 80 inch. That's perfect. That's good. Good size. A rescue blanket. Yep, emergency oh, blanket. It's shiny. This is in centimeters. Look up 130 by 210. We're using the phone. Oh. Okay, well, <laughs> let's just hope that this probably gets size. What are these? Oh, moleskin. In case you get like um, uh, blisters on your foot. Oh. This is super thin. Um. Honestly, this looks a little bit cheap to me. This does. It could probably still work, but if it were my kid, I would double or triple this up before I actually thought it would be useful. Then there's all the band-aids. Uh, different yeah, sizes. Different different sizes. Everything. Okay, so we got butterfly band-aids. Butterflies, good. if you don't know, I don't know if you can tell on there. Butter, yeah, there you go. That's a butterfly. Those then, aren't horrible. There's a bow band-aid. Bow tie, yeah, a little bit different. Then there's just a five pack and a two pack. No okay, these are regular band-aids. Yeah. Good. And then they have these. Good. What's this one? Those are just two. Here, open one of these. Take one of this. Just take that off and open one. And then there's this. Hold on, let's see what this is. Okay. Okay, very easy to open. Let me feel that. Feels very high quality. Does it feel sticky? Put it on your finger. We're gonna knuckle join it, not at the main knuckle, but at the top knuckle, and leave it there. And let's see what it looks like when we're done. Okay. Okay. She just stays on the whole video. Stir, stir, stir. Serial gauze. Serial gauze. This is too cheap. This is unusable. This isn't even a real piece. There's no way that this is eight ply. <laughs> I can literally see through it. Look at that. There's no way that's eight ply. I don't like that at all. Okay. Oh good, I got two of those. <laughs> <laughs> then there's two bigger band-aids. Okay, these are cool for like knees and elbows. These are good. Yeah. Okay, like those. Then there's some wipes. Alcohol wipes. Alcohol, Alcohol wipes. prep pads. We got several of those. And there's a towelette. Antiseptic towelette. These are bigger, but you can still use them to kind of clean. Then there's tweezers. Tweezers. And they come actually with a little band on them, which is kind of nice. So that they don't. Yeah, so they don't open up. These look pretty nice. Yeah. Can I feel them? Yeah. What's this? That's like, I think it's like tape. Tape. That you can. All right, this is, okay, so this is paper tape. It literally is, is uh, they call it paper tape. It tears super easy, which is super helpful if you are looking to take it on and off a lot. But if you want tape that sticks better, you should look at like silk tape uh, or medical tape. Um, it will probably last longer on a, on a wound or holding a bandage on. Um, Paper tape we usually use on, on sensitive areas like eyebrows or eyelashes where we don't want to rip the hair off afterwards because they don't stick. Sideburns. No, I don't want to rip those off. Okay, let's put that back in. This oh, is pretty cool. That put in very easy. Yeah, this all goes back that. in and nothing comes out. That cool. was super easy. Okay. All, all right, right, zip that one up. I'll Julie, do the next one. What do you give that one out of 10? I give it an eight. Eight. Okay, next up. All right. Next up, excuse me, I'm gonna go into the middle so I have room. Okay, we have the survival kit. Um, it's blue, uh, has a compass on it. Uh, okay. Once again, feels very uh, thick. It's not gonna rip or anything. Uh, okay, open it up. First impressions, very organized, very neat. Again, okay. nothing falls out, which is actually really Oh, there's nice. actually another Oh, cool. Like, oh yeah, that's sweet. All right, I'm gonna start on the top. 
when I open it. It has a zipper door. compartment up there, so you could potentially put other stuff in there too. Okay, I'll do one thing at a time. We have, oh, the Phillips head and flathead screwdrivers. Um, in their own little Ziploc baggie. And you, you can, can put them on a key ring. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. They don't bend. <laughs> Those seem nice. Yeah. All right, that's cool. All right, onto flint and steel. This is a very good long piece of flint, very good long piece of steel. Um, on the handle, we have a compass, and I think this is a whistle. Blow in it. Oh yeah, that's good, that's high pitch. Okay, we're gonna do what should it be done. Don't set this I don't wanna undo the whole thing. Let me just see if I can get one. I'm sure. Nah, we're gonna have to undo it. Yeah. It comes with paracord so you don't lose the flint. Okay, but don't set the house on fire. Doesn't look like it could if I wanted to. Oh, there ah. you go, there you go. Ah. Woo! Okay. We'll that's, take it. That's good. Yeah. And it goes in just their little package. Oh, I think that's just the package it comes in. But we can keep it in there. We'll put it in there for now, just so it's all together. Okay. And... Ooh, careful. Fish hooks, oh, fishing line. fish hooks and fishing line. Nice. Easy meal right there. Survival. Yeah. Yeah. Looks I like, like these look like good, good uh, hooks. Right? Are they already yeah. tied? No. Okay, so you'd have to time yourself. Not the end of the world. Not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. Next one. Next one. Ooh, that's a wire saw. You use oh, that on your fingers yeah. and you can saw through stuff. Okay, I'm going to open this up. So I can show you guys. Still have that band band-aid on my finger. Here's some bait for that fish. So this thing, here's another one. I don't know if you can tell on there, but it's uh focus up. Focus up. Come on, camera. Yeah, just get it further back. It's kind of like melted in the packaging a little bit. Uh particularly down by the tail. Oh. It doesn't look bad, okay. but it could be better. Okay. This is a finger saw. Uh I'm not gonna undo it because it's wrapped up very neatly. Comes very neat. Um, Looks the, pretty good. The finger things are big, big enough for like your thumbs, big enough for anything. Doesn't feel rough. Like your fingers aren't gonna get beat up when you're doing it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Seems like it's locked up pretty good. All right, I'm gonna put this. Jilly, what's this? See. Looks like a mirror on the other side, doesn't it? Oh yeah, a mirror to reflect. Can I get this on you? What is that? Oh, it's a signaling mirror. Huh. I'm getting the camera. Okay, don't. <laughs> signaling mirror. It works. And then we is have right? two pieces of timber. Twine. Twine. I'm guessing that's for the fire starter. Yeah. Because these edges yeah. will probably light real fast. That's what I was saying, mm -hmm. timber. So we had two mm -hmm. pieces I can check that out too. Help with the fire starter. Yeah. Twine segments, fire starter twine. You just keep dry. Yeah. All right, I'm going to keep cool. that right here. Cool. That's a good pack. Yeah, that's just. Wait, why don't you put all that back in there? Yeah. This is just uh, one big pocket. Oh, there's more? Oh, yeah. There's... Oh, yeah. Nice. And then. get it to lay flat in there. You can zip it up. Boom. And then. If you spread it out, it'll lay flatter. Oh. Okay. Yes. So All the right. next one is the middle segment. This is middle top. This is where we just were. Um, first thing looks like a... It looks like a pen. Oh, it's a Sharpie. I don't want to drop no, it. No, put the lid there. back on that. Put the lid on. Okay. Yeah, Works. Yeah. I don't know if you can see on my finger. <laughs> um. All right. This next one it is a... Pliers? Oh, it's a knife. It's a knife. Looks. Does it feel cheap? No, not at all. Honestly. Feel that it's very sharp. Oh, I'm not even in it. Well, actually, there's a lot more weight to this than it looks like. Yeah, it's super sharp. All right, let's see. You try cutting yourself, please, Dad. You can't even see it in camera. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's cutting hair. It's shaving hair. Wait, what? All right. So, 
My complaint here is there's no lock, but for what it is, I'd be happy with it. Uh, there's also a carabiner clip here. So you can oh, so potentially you can clip like that onto your belt buckle or not your wedding ring, but whatever you <laughs> wanted. Um, so that's kind of nice. There's a catch in there. What's a catch? Uh, it's this little piece right here. Oh. So the hook stays on. It's pretty sharp. I mean, it looks super sharp. It looks cool too. It looks it's cool. like a yeah. black chrome looking thing. Okay, but don't touch yourself. I see. Okay. I want to try fooling. Jilly, take out the next one while Ethan's looking at that. Yeah, what's that? Cool. So, Come over into the picture, sister, so they can see it. Okay. So, there's a lock. No. Uh, it's a carabiner clip oh, and a, a compass. Lock. Hey, look. Take it out. It looks like a lock. It, it does look like a lock. little uh, compass with a carabiner on it, so you can hook it onto a bell loop or whatever. Or you could hook stuff together with it. Like you could oh, put yeah, bags yeah. on something or, you know, whatever. Uh, not going to lie, the plastic feels just a little bit cheap. Let's see. Oh. I don't think that's plastic. Oh, uh, what is it? Just cheap metal. <laughs> yeah. feels but just it works a little good. Cheap. Yeah. Let's see if it points to north. Mm -hmm. should be that way. Ah. It'll do. I mean... It is, but it works fine. Yeah. Looks good. We don't need the bag back for that one. Cool. Well, we're sliding everything back in. Easy access. Is that oil? Oh, yeah. no way. Is this oil? Oops. I don't know what that is. You never know. Maybe you'll need oil. It's a waterproof container or something? Looks like you could it looks like a waterproof container for yeah. oil. <laughs> well, if anyone ever needs a blessing, he'd be good carrying this around. Yeah, right? I think it's a waterproof container. It, it feels waterproof. Now, interestingly, oh, I see how this works. So there's there's a couple sections in here. Oh, small pill container. That's a oh, small a pill, pill container. Pill. Oh, that makes sense. I wonder if it's waterproof. Let me see. Go put, fill up the well, sink. Well, no, let's just see if there's a gasket on it. Oh, this piece of rubber right here. There yeah. is a gasket. It looks it looks waterproof. That's very good. Yeah. And does, it doesn't feel it's super pretty cheap. pretty big. Yeah. No, I like that. Oops. Okay. Okay. Now we're moving on to the last portion of the... Survival There's kit. a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to start with the biggest box. Uh, comes a little crumbled up, but that's okay. Comes in bubble wrap, so it's not damaged. It's not bubble wrap. Oh, this is what I wanted to see. What is it? It's a flashlight. Oh, we saw that at the oh, it. Okay, so you got to turn it on like... Uh, you got to crank it first. Yeah. Let me see. Suppose we could just read the directions. That's too easy. Oh, yeah. Ah? Uh -huh. Turn off the light, Jill. Okay. Holy smokes, that is huh. great. That's very good. So that's about that's about five or six feet behind us. So cool. It's pretty bright. Really bright. Let me try. I have no problem seeing stuff in here. A little too bright, Dad. A little too bright? For the eyes. Uh-oh. What? All right, I see the first problem. Turn the light back on. Okay. This piece of plastic has already come off. Dun, dun, dun. Or come up. I don't know if you can tell from there. See that? We haven't even done anything yet. What does that piece do? Hard to say. Hard to I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to come up. Alright, let's turn the light off. Okay. No, no, no. This light. Oh. See what that does. Is there something on there that tells you on the box? I'm going to see if uh. I can sneak this piece back in there without breaking this. Uh. Oh, it went back in. 
Okay. There we go. So what does that piece do? I don't know. Is there directions? Let me see those directions. Let me see that box. I have no idea what that second piece does. And this, uh, let's see. New science, technology, you need information, concern. Let me see how long it goes without cranking it. All right, so we have no idea what the second button does. The small one. You should, you can move it, you can not move it. It doesn't seem to have any effect. There's the light, and if I move it, I just moved it, it doesn't do anything. If I turn off the light and move it, nothing. If I look in there, honestly, it doesn't even look like it's connected to anything. Yeah, Maybe it's for like button. texture? And I don't see anything that it was, it's not rattling. It's not like there's a loose piece. No clue what that is, but we're gonna leave this light on and we'll tell you when it's dead. Okay. Okay, next thing. Oh, multi-tool, sweet. All right, so I'm gonna, it, ha it has like a little clip on it too. Uh, so you can carry it around with you. Phillips head, it looks like. It also has a, what do you think that one's for? Like a knife? Like a leather punch? Let's oh see. yeah. It's probably uh, like a leather punch. And you have like a little scraper. I don't know if you guys can see Scraper. It. It's called a fingernail file. <laughs> yeah. Nerd. <laughs> and then, what does this one do? Maybe if you were trying to thread something through leather? I don't know. Where's my, where's my cheat sheet? There's a sharp knife, saw, scissors, a can opener, a bottle opener, a Phillips screwdriver, a, a slotted screwdriver, a corkscrew, an owl, all, owl, an all, a nail file, a nail cleaner, a fish scaler, whoa, a fish hook remover, and a carabiner. That's probably the fish hook remover. Yeah. What's on the other side? Okay, other side. Looks like it has like me. This is a 20 minute video already. Let's speed through these. Okay. This is a Don't cut yourself, please. Very sharp knife. Uh, no lock on it. It doesn't move no very easy. Uh, no complaints there. Looks pretty sharp. Careful. Uh, serrated blade, very hard to take out. Let's see. I wanna try. Yeah, but I don't play baseball, so it doesn't matter if I Very hard to take out the serrated blade. Yeah, that is kinda hard. Okay, so there's like this fingernail clip on there, but you can't even see it, because when you put it away, it's covered by the one in front of it. So you'd have to take the one in front of it out and then you could see that one. What else you got in here? Oh, scissors. Scissors? Oh, nice. Oh, this is a big pair of scissors. Okay. This knife. Scissors look good. I'm not sure this knife could cut anything. Doesn't look like it's good. If, I don't know if you can see this. It feels, honestly, I'm not exaggerating. It feels like a butter knife. <laughs> Feel that? Oh yeah, there's like no point to that. Oh, it goes sideways though, like this. You don't want to go up and down. Because yeah. then it might cut you. So again, on here, I don't know, can you see hair right there? That's not super impressive. The other knife was better. Okay, um, and then uh, put this back in there. And we also have a foldable spork. It just folds up teeny like That's this. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fork. It's Is a spoon. Is it cheap feeling? No. Yeah, it's kind of flimsy, but. Well, I mean, it will get the job done. It doesn't rock though. It doesn't. It doesn't. Uh, there's a little play in it. But for what it is, that's pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. I like that. And the light is still on. Light's still on, still bright. Cool. And that's it for sure. All right, so we're going to leave that to the side till this light dies out. Yeah. Underneath the pack, just so you know, there's this yeah. deluxe tire plug for radial belt. It's just a, uh, it's a regular kit where you poke the hole in and then feed these guys through the needle and put that in and plug the hole. It looks pretty good.
One, two, three, four, five, six. No, five. Five plugs. All right, All right. Dad, you're up. I have the fastener kit. In the fastener kit, there is some paracord. Uh, I would be curious what the weight strength on this is. It is very, very thin. Feels like the yeah. uh, bracelets that you get at the dentist. Yeah, I think if you were trying to tow a vehicle out of somewhere, I don't know that this would do it. I think this would snap, honestly. Does it say how thick this is? Paracord to secure item. Oh, secure items in vehicle. Oh. It's fine. This okay. would definitely yeah, secure items. Yeah, this will get the job All right, we got two things to tape. Electric tape? Uh, so this one's the electric tape, I'm assuming. And this is the all-purpose tape, although they're both black, so it's kind of hard Very to tell. Very confusing. But that's Did my thought. It, <laughs> okay, I'm quite certain this is just one roll and they just cut it right there. So, <laughs> uh, I would bet you money that's what happened. It looks like even, even the marks on the inside of this match up perfectly. Well. <laughs> so you have a lot of electrical tape. Um, or I mean, no electrical tape. Bungee cords. <laughs> bungee cords are always useful. If they're bungee. 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 Oh, these feel great. These are good. They're short. I don't know what that is. 18 inch or something. Yeah, but they don't look bad. But you could connect them. Yeah. Get like mm -hmm. 36 inches. Oh. Okay. Um, then we've got various fuses. Oh yeah, I know these are color coded. I know. But I wish they were... Oh, they are marked. They're marked in the color of the fuse. <laughs> That's fine. So you have 25, you have two 25s. You have one, two 15, uh, two of everything, two 15s, two 20s, and two 40s. If you were in a situation where you needed a fuse, these would be fine. I would never put this in my vehicle otherwise. Uh, these feel like they might break if you'd handle them wrong. But if I was stranded somewhere and needed a fuse, I would definitely pop that in. Yeah. Okay, and the last thing in here is uh, twist ties, or zip ties. These are awesome. Zip ties. One, two, three, useful. four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. These are good length, good size, usable. I like those. And that is the entirety of the fastener kit. Okay. All right, Mabel, or Jilly, I mean. Yeah. Same difference. Last one. Okay. Uh, and also the light is still on. So very, very Yeah, the light's cool. pretty good. Yeah. All right, so show them this one before you take it out. Which one? This one looks like this, the black one. This is your automobile kit and it's in the main kit. It doesn't come. Okay, do I show them? I'm gonna okay. take this out there. There we go. So, there's a rope. Uh, tie down. Oh, actually, that's a tow rope, it looks like. Yeah. And it has, yeah, it's got the hooks on it. Uh, Perfect. <laughs> it feels pretty good. Feels like a seatbelt. Yeah, it feels like it's a seatbelt. A little thicker. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Well, cool. that would be good stuff. Then. Ooh. These jumper cables. Jumper cables. Nice. Leave those tied together so we don't have to wrap them back up. Yeah. And that's it for under there. Now. All right. What do you got up top, sister? In here, there's oh, cool. a screw. You can take that a out. A wrench. A wrench. A crescent wrench. A, a crescent, crescent wrench. wrench. See how it's adjustable? Mm -hmm. That's See. pretty cool. So we're right there right now. Does that All feel you... good or does that feel cheap? Uh, feels actually really good. Uh. Is that a rubber handle or plastic? Rubber. Rubber. Okay. Let's see. I still have the band-aid on too. And the light's still on. Because it's in a kit, I understand why it's so small, but it's pretty small. You could buffalo song with that. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Alright, did that go in here? Yeah. Okay, what else you got? And then Ooh, you know what that is? No. Oh. What is that? It's a tire gauge. You push this on the tire, and then I don't think it'll work if you blow. Try. Blow in there real hard. Why? 
See if we can make that thing pop out. What? Oh, Ethan does it. You can't, because you have to push in that needle. Yeah. And then what happens is this thing pops out, and it tells you how inflated your car is, your tires are. It only goes up to 35, which for me isn't an issue. Um, oh, never mind. What do we got going on here? Kilograms and PSI. PSI goes up to 50. That's better. Then I'm wait. hesitant about this. This is not my favorite. This is probably my least favorite thing so far. Then there's tweezers. Needle nose, Needle -nose pliers. Got pliers it. on it. These feel like rubber handles as well. Not sure what that is. I think the case maybe already melted to it or something. That's why it's discolored. Not that it matters, but. No, these feel good. Can I see? Those feel good. And uh, this right here, can't you cut like. Wire. Wire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. All right, put that one back in. Cool. And that's it? That's the whole kit. And the light's still on. Light's still on. So we're going to turn the light off and put that away. That light stays on plenty of time. I mean, we didn't, what do we okay. crank it? Like 15 times or something? I don't know. Yeah. Not yeah. that much. Then it only took a second. Then Band-Aid is still on. Yeah, let me see that Band-Aid. No, it's pretty good. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Nice work, Uncle Kellen and yeah. brother. Although, we did it for Kellen. Okay. Kellen's like one of my six or seven favorite brother-in-laws. Dude, he's Wait, at do least... Wait, do I have eight? Maybe oh, he's, he's, top, maybe eight. he's top eight. Yeah. Top eight. Top eight.